Hey guys, welcome to my welcome to episode three of my Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red. Or is this, this, this might be episode four. Like I was saying last time, I'm having a little race with my friend Zepirath Death. Four twenty-eight. Oh, that's not the. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I've done off screen. All I did is really go heal up purple, the squirtle. And if we go up here, I'm not too sure about hitting items. I haven't really done any looking around. Well, right here we can get the antidote. Let's get out. I would have found that, that out that earlier. Or if I remembered it earlier, that would have been awesome because I was poisoned. And up here is another train. He only has one Pokemon, and I believe it's a Caterpie. And at level 10, purple learned withdraw. All it really does is raises its defense, which is awesome considering they already have crazy high defenses. No, never mind, he has two Caterpies. And this Caterpie is about level 7, and I'm at level 10. Pretty good, pretty good. And it got off a tackle, but I go with Bub for the kill. And I get 79 experience points, which is awesome, which means next level, which next, after I kill this Caterpie, I'll, I should level up to about level 12. And yeah, now my camera's moving. And I'll go. Oh, uh, my finger's there. And I got the uh, off a tackle first, and I go for my tackle because he's more of a physical attacker with his brave nature. Brave nature lowers um, speed, raises attack, which squirrels are, or blast races are already really kind of slow. So then it just kind of helps him with physical attacks, and luckily Caterpie missed. And I get off my bubble to finish it. And for the kill! And the crowd goes wild and Squirtle gets up to level 11. Which makes the gym, the next gym, that much easier. Alright. So we gotta keep going this way. Then we go down. Like I was saying, my friend Zephyroth Death 428. He's already done with the first gym, and I ran into a wild Pokemon. I'm gonna laugh if it's a Pikachu, and good, it is not. And it's a little. I want to beat Pokemon Yellow version. No, not Yellow. I want to beat um, Blue version. Me and my friend, and we had a and me and him were sharing the game, so we had a squirrel named Jizz. And a, what's it called? A bee drill named Bee Job. And here's a Metapod. I've never understood this. When you catch one in the wild, all they know is Harden. But whenever you raise your own, they no tackle. And same with um, Weedle. They do uh, Poison Sting. Which I think is pretty dumb. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, if you catch one in the wild, it's not going to know anything except the Harden. And I got one elite experience, which is actually pretty good, pretty good. And he has a Caterpie. Okay, so my bad, I didn't say what he has. He has a Caterpie, a Caterpie, and a, I mean a Metapod, a Caterpie, and a Metapod. Basically, he has two Metapods and one Caterpie. I should have said what he had earlier. And 
and this is right before the last person we battle in the breaking force, and then we'll be out to civilization and not a bunch of bugs running around. And if you guys didn't know, I'm also doing a Pokemon Black and White walkthrough, or Let's Play. And I'm right about the forest, right before, no, not a forest, but at the little walkthrough, through a little, like a little walkway through a forest, right before the next city to the first gym. I'm going to go off with the tackle first. Oh, I went with bubble. Oh, wait, I'm slow, never mind. So that was smart. Oh, yeah, like I was saying, if you guys didn't know, I'm doing a Pokemon Black and White walkthrough. And I have a Snivy, it's level 10. And so far, I'm on a solo with it. I'm even going to take down the first gym with it, even though I'll have a disadvantage. Because the first gym, it's... I don't really like it. How? Because... It, you, they get the one you're weakest to, and then if you and then you get an elemental monkey, and even if you don't want it, like you like don't you basically have to use it, even though you don't want it. If you don't want it, because I'm not going to use it. I have a different water type planned out, but and okay, I thought I was going to learn water then, but my mistake. Oh, right, like I was saying. I don't like how they make you match up, but I still have taken it down with only Snivy. I've done it before. Before I was in a, before I started it over and I could walk the let's go. So I'm pretty sure I can and I usually evolve right before the second gym because they're not too far separated. And use a potion, which is awesome. And then I'll just keep walking. Oh yeah. And you guys should check it out. It's pretty good. My friends in Zepiroth said it's pretty good. He said the battle graphics are awesome. Yeah, it's a Caterpie. I love Caterpies. Just me, I like Butterfree a little bit better than Caterpie. The bug flying type, which makes it, I think it's resistant to flying. And then it could take down Psychics a little bit better, but it's not the best bug type. But like in black and white, they have awesome bug types. Bug types are like the best. Oh. Yeah, they're better than all the past bug types. They've got a rock bug type, a electric bug type, a poison bug, a grass bug, which is my well, out of all of them, my favorite's the grass bug, which it evolves into a Leavani, which is its final evolution, and it's pretty good. I've I used it and it was awesome. I literally took down most of the game with it because it was that good. Oh yeah, and I've used the electric bug type Joltik, and I got into a Garventura, which is its final evolution. It was pretty good too. And I've leveled up Crust Drubble into Crustle, and it turned out to be pretty good. I didn't think it'd be. I didn't think it'd be too good. And it learned some decent moves, and it was really defensive when it evolved, which I liked. And Venipede, which evolves into Scolipede as its final evolution, I've never used. And I'm not going to use it. I thought about it for a while, but I decided I'm not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use a bug type. What about here? I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys. Subscribe, comment, and all that. See you guys next time. Bye.